This is Erlene Belcher. Uh, Queen Cookie is is what you, kind of your performance name, your stage name. Yeah, yeah. She, is a, um, she lost a grandson to suicide, and she has commissioned a documentary, uh, which I watched this week, A Cry for Help, the Arjane Burt, B-U-R-T, yes. story, and you can see it on Amazon Prime. We talked about this as a young man who fell through the cracks. <laughs> I know it's so hard. 2020, as they say, or hindsight is 2020. What would you have done differently? I would like to think that I would have taken him, although I don't know how that would have turned out, Jerry, because I was living in a senior citizen's community. Oh. And um, oh. I don't Let's, know. Can we take a look at this? I want you to take a look at this, and we'll see it on the monitor here. This is from no, Prime he talked, here, you know, this was recorded on his own phone, right? Yes. It's just kind of a, a selfie kind of thing, but a, a, a video. Uh, he was carrying around a lot of anger, mm -hmm. if I say so myself, in listening to him, mm -hmm. wasn't he? I don't know if I want to call it anger. Maybe it wasn't. What was it, do you think? There's a lot of emotion in that young man. There's a lot of emotion. I just think it was a broken heart. I think it was a broken heart. And when your heart is broken, it might show up as anger yeah. to some. But I just think it was a broken heart. You know what? Obviously, you know him 10 times better, a thousand times better now. You're the grandma. I look back at that young man. He was spewing. I think his heart was broken. His heart was broken. His heart was broken. How do you lose your mother at 12? And, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and he knew exactly how, right. how, how it happened. Right. <laughs> and all your siblings go into foster care, I mean, go into family homes, rather, and you're the only one that don't. How do you deal with that? Mm. A broken heart manifests itself as anger. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does. There's no other way and to And in behaviors, that. as you indicated before the break, that can be also detrimental behaviors, uh, destructive behaviors, yes. drugs and alcohol. What do you want people to take away from AJ's story? I want people to be aware, number one, that if you see signs, signs, whether it be drugs, alcohol, mental illness, if you can pick that up, depression, try to get the person some help. Now, that doesn't say that they're going to take you up on your advice, because I tried to get AJ to get help. Matter of fact, he went to support groups yeah, okay. for his drug addiction, alcohol addiction. He went, but he didn't stay going. He just went temporarily. And when you're addicted, you have to keep going one day at a time, putting one foot in front of the other. You can't give up because you tend to go back. Yeah. Um, making a documentary, I know something about that. Being, I, I spent some time in television, as some people will recall. Uh, it's an expensive proposition. Mm -hmm. Is there, I'm just going to ask because viewers are going to ask, mm -hmm. is there any financial gain to you from having people watch this documentary? Well, I guess due to what my producer told me, they add up the viewership. I said if I got 10 million people watching your thing, there's got to be, that's got to be Yeah, there might be some payment coming back, okay. but what I'm going to do with it is put it back where I took it from because it cost me a few dollars to make this. I did this on my own. Yeah, I want to make that very clear. And I told her in the break, I'm going to ask you this, because um, somebody say, wait a minute, is she going to make money off this documentary? Are you going to get rich off this documentary? And she said to me right away, that is not what this is about. No, it never was about it. It never was about money. It's about helping those that are struggling with this thing called life. Um, I had that in my script, too, because she mentioned that to me on the phone. Struggling with this thing called life, life can absolutely be a struggle. Yes, it can. It can be a struggle if you have all the good, cushy stuff surrounding yes. you. And then yes. when you have challenges like this young man, this beautiful young man, mm -hmm. a cute kid. And he's handsome, handsome. Wait, you grew into a handsome man. You don't see the baby pictures. They're yeah. in the, yeah. the document, as yeah. cute as he could be. Uh, I want to thank Arlene Queen Cookie Belcher for sharing her powerful story about loss in the struggle many people have with, as she says, what's it say right there? This thing called life. Yes. The documentary is A Cry for Help, the Ajane, that's A-J-A-N-E, Birch Story, Ajane Birch Story. You can see it on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much Thank for spending you. time Thank with you. us. Thank you. I appreciate this. Have yourself a, um, what's, what's on your plate for the uh, new year? Well, I really don't have any plans yet. I might be going back to Atlanta because I might have an opportunity to tell this story in a TV series. Okay. Let me know if we do, all right? I sure will. Okay. Thank you as always for being there. I also want to thank, by the way, Chip Jenkins for sharing his son Alex's story.
and making a strong case for rethinking the way we sentence drug users. Thanks to you, too, for joining us again this week. We'll see you next week for another Leading Edge.